Mark. Now, as our pets get into their senior years, changes in their habits and health need to be taken more seriously. To tell us more about what we need to be doing, we're joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by pet doctors, Dr Seaton Butler. Welcome, Seaton. Hi. Lovely to have you here. First up, what counts as senior with our pets? I guess it's different for every animal. It is, it is. So, so have, you got a, have you got a pet or a dog? I have. I've got, I've got a small, like a lotion poodle cross. She's, okay. about, she's about six. Okay. So when we're thinking about dogs, they, they age at a different rate depending on their, on their size. Okay. So little dogs live longer and big dogs live shorter. So a Great Dane might live to maybe six years of age, whereas a small crossbreed might live to 15 to 20 years of age. 20? Yeah. Crikey, yes. okay. So there's often a factor we use around about... To normalise it, about one human year is seven dog years, and similarly for cats. Right, OK. Is, sort of a is it the same for cats? I thought cats had less years. Uh, no longer. Oh, yes, yeah, years. yeah. And again, depending on size, but because they're smaller, they will often live to sort of 14 or 15. So we often use a factor of, say, six, uh, eight years for a cat. So what are some of the common things we need to look out for in our pets as they age? Well, an important thing I always try and emphasise with my clients is... is uh, Pets don't die of old age, they die of syndromes they get when they get old. Okay. So just because your cat's got a condition, or, or is old, it's not going to actually be, be dying from something mm -hmm. being old, it might have a kidney disease or a arthritis or liver disease. So, so the things we look for are most typically they are less active. You, right. you, in fact, you don't notice. You actually sort of notice them around less, um, maybe slower on walks and those sort of things, but nothing really dramatic unless they've got some sort of organ failure. Okay. which then gets really dramatic and they drink more or they vomit or eat less and things like that. Okay. Well, wouldn't it just be sleeping more and being around less sounds like pretty much everyone as they age, doesn't it? We all like to have yes, a nap. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And again, but they're symptoms of things like arthritis. So they might be sleeping because they feel sore, so they don't want to move. So, And they, they don't come jump up on the couch with you. They might just seek the sun, so you don't often pick up on that. Mm -hmm. But that's something as a pet owner we need to be looking for. So what if they're not showing any visible signs? Um, should we still get our pets checked? So... We, we, because they age more uh, rapidly than, than you or I do, yeah. uh, three years f is six months for us, is three years for a cat, say. So if you and I age 50 or 60 and only went to the doctor every three years, then we'd probably be missing out on a lot of things. Yeah. And then what we also like to do is relate it to, to human conditions. So as we age, I know I have to go to the doctor more frequently and get those interesting exams, and, and I'm sure you know uh, everybody else has those as well as they get older. Yes. And if we relate those to pets, we should be looking for the same things in, in cats and dogs. Okay, so how often should you be taking your older animal to the, pet, to the vet then? So often if we set the, the, our guide as around about that eight, year of, eight years of age mark, yeah. we would recommend they come every six months. Okay. So every three or four years for us. And you do a senior pet check on them? Yep, what so we would do a full physical exam. As, as part of a basic mm -hmm. uh, process. But another interesting thing with our cats and dogs is they can't talk to us. So we... Well, some would, some would argue that they can. Would, some would, some, some would. Crazy yes. cat people. But they won't talk to me, they won't talk to you. <laughs> so when they're with us, we like to be able to sort of, I guess, explore a bit further, and it's mm -hmm. harder if we can't ask questions. So we often then like to take some tests, blood tests, urine tests, those sorts of things, so we can get a bit of a better view of what's going on inside. Mm -hmm. I guess it's probably a very good thing to catch things early too. Yeah. Absolutely. So there's a number of conditions. If we think about a cat, for example, early stage renal failure, you can't, you can't see that physically, mm -hmm. clinically. I mean, as, as the disease progresses, they drink more and they vomit and they lose weight. Yeah. Excuse all the gross descriptions. Yeah. <laughs> but you can pick it up by a blood or urine test early on in the disease. And the best treatment is to change diet. So if we can detect it early and then change the diet early, then we may be able to slow the progress of that yeah, disease. There are things that can be done, early yep, detection. Absolutely, early detection. Same with you and I. Yeah, exactly. We've well, exactly. got to go and get those checkups. Yep. Thank you so much for that. That was very, very no interesting. Now, if Thank you, you want to take your pet for a senior pet wellness check and blood test, make sure that you do with pet doctors, as you'll receive an AA Smart Fuel deal of 30 cents per litre until the 31st of May. And now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to Posse. Whose impersonation of Superman with a tiger's head? Won some laughs from the cafe team, that's for sure. A nice name too, Pussy. A lot of thought went into that one. $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz. It's on its way to you right now, Mel Kelly. We had a dog once called Dog, so I totally get it. And if you'd like to enter your pet, just upload a pig on our Facebook page.